In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install this two zone programmer from EPH. So let's have a look what's in the box. So the wires that we have here, there's live neutral earth, they have heating on, hot water on, hot water off, then we have an earth wire. If you're not sure what wires are what, you'll have to trace them back into here and then follow it down to each component. Um, we're also fitting a wireless room thermostat which is a combi pack 3. We have already covered a video on the installation of one of these. A link will be up on above somewhere around here. So have a look at that. But in the meantime we're going to concentrate on fitting the two zone programmer. So let's go on with it. So on the bottom of the back of the, the programmer it tells you where the wires need to go. The wires are going to go underneath here, so we're going to get rid of this at the bottom. We already have our holes pre drilled. Line it up, drill your holes, and hang the bracket. So, we'll start off with the easy ones neutral. So if you have a look here, if you flip it upside down, you can see that central heating on is number four. So central heating on is my brown blue wire. Number three is hot water on. And the brown one is hot water off, which is number one. So you get your programmer, pull the tab out, so it allows the battery to operate. So it's all now been wired up, let's switch it on. So the power is now back on. Um, the way we set the programmer and the times is you simply slide this over to clock set. Once you've slid it over to clock set, you adjust the date. And once you're happy with that, you press OK. Adjust the month, OK. Year, OK. Adjust the, the hour and the minutes by this plus or minus. You press OK, then you come to this function here. So it would say 24 if you press minus 7, and it would say 52D. So what that basically means is you can set a programmer for for one day, and then that would transfer to every single day, basically. Um, seven days is you have a programmer which you set, uh, which would be different from Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday to Thursday to Friday. So if you want in, on different days, for the heating and hot water to come on at different days at different times, this is what you want. This is the most control you have, seven days. Or you have five slash two days. So you set the programmer from Monday to Friday. And on the weekend, it will differ. So these are for the people who work during the week. And during the weekend at home, they want the heating on longer. Or the hot water on longer. You would set the weekdays and then you set the weekend after. So that's done. So say we go for 24 hours. And we press OK. Now we have to set the actual program. We slide that over to program set. It's now flashing on this side here, which is hot water, and it says on. So say we want the hot water to come on at 6 o'clock in the morning. Or say, say we want to change it to 6.30 or even earlier, 5.30, just plus or minus signs. Once you've done that and you're happy with the hot water to come on at 5.30, you press OK. What time now do you want the hot water to go off? Yeah, so you want it off at about 9.30. You press OK, and then now you've got 
program number two again what time do you want to come on set that off on again program three and then off and that's done so now it's reverted back to program one now you set the heat inside the way you set the heat inside is select heating same thing on this side what time do you want the heating to come on okay what time do you want it to go off okay and then you keep setting it up to three times that's that's done so once you've done you've literally done that it's as easy as that you click run now you click run in order for the program to run you have to change this off to auto on both sides so you'd, cl you'd click select water hot water that's on automatic and click that on the heating that would be automatic so now the program is running on the times that we've set it as long as the thermostat is calling for heat the hot water will come on as long as the thermostat for the heating is calling for heat the, the heating will now come on but if you don't want to use the programmers you, you don't need to you can click select hot water and leave it on all day which a lot of people do you leave that on all day and when the thermostat and the tank goes cold and it needs hot water it would heat itself up and it would regulate itself basically on all day and if you wanted the heating on all day and you just want to you just want to regulate it via the thermostat you can just click this select heating on all day and regulate it via your thermostat if you want to turn it on off you click off you want to click it off you click it off you've also got a plus one and a plus one function here so this is a boost function so for hot water you can boost it up to three hours so that's three hours there so boost off boosts the hot water to come on even though it's set off i've boosted it to come on for three hours it's come on now for three hours and same for the heating i can do the same with the heat inside one two three hours it will now boost it for three hours now you can boost it in any any mode so it can be boosted on the off mode it can be boosted on the auto mode it can also be boosted on the all day mode so any mode you could boost the the heating and the hot water as long as the thermostat is demanding the heat it will come on same thing with the heating you can also set the holiday function so if you're going on holiday and you don't want the thermostat to come on without turning it off you can literally click holiday click the amount of days you're going on holiday three days press ok now the thermostat will stay off stay off for a number of three days hot water and heating will not operate for three days if you want to override this you simply just press the ok button and then you can override it quick summary to wrap up this video i think this is a great product it's easy to use easy to install and from now on i'll be using these i usually install the honeywell alternatives but i will stick with these from now on and if i have any in the other issues in the future i will keep you guys posted thank you very much like and subscribe job done